Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Sockcore Brony, welcoming you to the third and final arc of Let's Play Breath of Fire 2, the retranslation. Uh, last time the old tree told us to go south, and I can't believe I didn't get any random encounters back there, to find a bunch of people that are uh, also trying to stop the evils of the world. Ah, huh, turn back for our own good. But we can't get through this uh, fog valley here because... Apparently something happened at Heaven Tower, which is called Sky Tower in the original. You might remember that little tower that was out in the middle of, uh, like, the ocean. That's where we, uh, want to go, so I'm going to make my way over there and... Uh... Oh, crud. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, this isn't one of the bad ones, at least. Marble Golem. I guess I might as well show this. He has 307 HP. He... Technically, can cast a spell, but he doesn't have enough MP to actually do it, so not really. Anyway, he has a low chance of uh, dropping that stone armor that we could have gotten forever ago if we'd actually... You know, I should just, like, use my dragon spells against this guy. Yeah, he doesn't even have enough AP to cast Spark. What the heck? Is there anything else I can do? I... Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's do that Sirocco spell, if I can actually get a hit in. Alright! Let's see Tapuna do some good damage for once! Bam! <laughs> yeah, I love it! Alright. Yeah, now that we can, for some reason, use the Sirocco spell again... Anyway, I'll, uh... I'll meet you... I guess kind of near the Sky Tower, at least, just, so, just in case you forget where... Well, no, I guess kind of at it, since I can just show you the map. Alright, as you can see, we've got the Sky Tower, or whatever it was called, uh, right here, a little above Melodia. So, uh, what is it called in this version again? The Heaven... Heaven... T yeah, Heaven Tower. I've, uh, got a slightly new party here with Bosch in it now. He's got, uh... I've given him the silver armor and all this, and the alloy band. Tapita, I've got temporarily with the magma armor and saber, because we're going to get, and flame shield and all, because we're going to get something a little new soon. And the spada, I've got with uh, this stuff. He's in the back right now. That will change. Well, hey, actually, he probably still will be in the back, since, as you can see, I've also given Tapita the courage belt for purposes you'll see soon, but... If he'd come here earlier, they wouldn't have allowed that guy down there wouldn't have allowed us to come any further. So, oh, control the entire weather of the entire world. Wow. Oh well, all kinds of actually, it does have a lot of good treasure in it. Ooh, really? Wow. And apparently, they didn't know that it was making fog down there in a place called Fog Valley. So, and we're the repair crew, of course. Of course, we are. We had to fix everyone's problems. Talk to him again, and we're ready to enter, as I'll ever be. And be prepared, because this is a place where, uh, even though we have those press-on gills, we can't, it doesn't protect us from deep water, so... We have a time limit as to how long it take, uh, we can, uh, breathe down here, being three minutes. But, uh, except for one instance, which we're gonna go to very soon, where you're pretty much never gonna ran out of air because there's all kinds of air pockets down here. Happy hunting! And this guy will tell us about the currents here, which are kind of uh, important because this is a current here and... Oh, wow. That looks so much smoother in the original. It, we just move slow there. We got an air current... Uh, air pocket here with this guy, a salesman! Who sells a bunch of good stuff, actually. Uh, except for that ice barrel there. This is the... Ice barrel. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, Bosch's weapon, the ice bow, which, as you can see, is a lot stronger, but it's actually not as good as the thunder bow, or thunder bow. Uh, twin bow there, but I'm gonna get it for free eventually, and it's not useful in this tower anyway, because there's two monsters that are strong against it. Here we got the thunder child that I could have bought a long time ago, which I'm gonna buy now for Tapita, which is why I have the saber instead of the soul uh, sword e equipped. Which makes him a lot stronger, 141. Oh yeah, he's 
got some good strength going there now. And I also got another Earth Armor, which I want to trade my Magma Armor in for. Uh, this will be good for both him and Stan eventually, even though we're going to be getting another piece of armor soon. Circlet. Well, it could have been useful, except that I've already got a bunch of stuff that's better. I would have bought one if I hadn't had the Mystery Helm already, so... That's a nice uh, money saver there. And then we got the Guardian, which is exactly the same as the Shine Shield in every way, except it's a little bit more expensive and is slightly lesser than the Alloy Band. I want to... You know what? Let's buy it for... Yeah, let's buy it for you, since I'm actually going to get another shield soon in this dungeon. And we'll just leave you with a Flame Shield for now. So... Do I... Nah, you know what? Even though the monsters here hit pretty hard, now the current is going to sweep us back. We want to go down because if we try to move like more than one space, I get... Well, watch. If I try to go this way, it'll just move us back. So we don't want to... Yeah, we have to move like where the current is, basically, or however... I don't even know how I'm trying to say this. Oh, crud. So anyway, time still moves here. We got the... Tidalius, or Daedalus, who is an aquatic-type creature. I kind of want to take him out quickly because he can build up and hit us really freaking hard, like double, more than double that, so. All right, Bosh. And this other guy, the, he was called Ammonite, something or other, but he's called a Monica in the original. He doesn't have any elements, but he does have really high defense, so, and full immunity to magic otherwise, so the uh, items are... Oh, wow, the time's still going. Hold down, hold down. I don't want to get pushed back by the currents there. That That's a bastard move on their part. I don't think there's anything down there. Okay, and then we want to keep on going. We got to move fast. I can't be wasting time here. I got to do this quickly, because I think... Is time going even now? Oh, I don't think it was, but anyway... We gotta go fast because this is the only time we may, might actually have to worry about <laughs> running out of air because there's no air pockets around here and we're trying to get some treasures. We, there's nothing hidden in the grass. Don't go up there into that room. It's a dead end. Keep walking against the current. There's still two more monsters around here we can meet, both of which are icy types, so they're not quite that bad. Oh, by the way, that little Ammonite enemy, whatever it was... Where's the door? Where's the door? There it is. Was, uh... It could use the uh, freeze spell if I didn't say so earlier, so which is kind of dangerous. So here we get the demon sword, which was called the goblin sword in the original. Much better, well, mostly much better strength for Ryu there. So I already sold that buster sword from before, so uh, I don't need that uh, knife anymore. So that'll just go straight to Stan from here on out. Come on, come on, come on! And here we got the Spirit Robe, which is a universal piece of armor. Send me back. Uh, do I have time to look at it? I hope so. It's actually not that good for right now, although it protects us against, like, ser like all three elements. Uh, thunder, Ice, and uh, Fire. But it is good for Rand. It'll basically serve as his next upgraded armor. Oh, you. Eesh. I don't like this guy. He... Okay. Attack. I don't want to attack him twice because he has a high counter attack rate like his cousin there. And yeah, I got to beat you fast because I want to get out of here. Oh, wow. I can just one shot him. I could do that. I didn't... I, would, I wasn't expecting it to be that strong. So <laughs> anyway, I got to go back and well, let's see if I can beat the time here. Oh, yeah, I can beat the time. Shouldn't have any problem here. Yeah, I can show this on screen. Why not? Oop. No, 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 no. Don't go down. Not yet. Not yet. Oop. All right. Got to get back to the air pocket. Oh, I'm going to have plenty of time. Especially if I don't get any more random encounters. Still one more monster around here. But yeah, that needle guy, or whatever he was called in this version, can uh, counterattack. It can also cast the shield spell and the uh, defense up X spell. Shield basically grants you like extra, uh, what is it, Ma uh, magic defense, sort of, or basically increases your wisdom to max. Not that it really makes that big a difference, but anyway, I don't think I didn't think I could sell there. So, get out, get out of the way, dude. Anyway, uh, oh wait, did I, was there, an, 
Oh, no, I want to go up the stairs, don't I? Oh, or do I? Wait a sec. Okay, okay. <laughs> it is down this way. My bad. I didn't write down the directions that well. In my notes there, here we get a thousand zenny. That's cool. That should be useful. We want to build that, start building up some money. Cause this is like the less, like second to last uh, armory in the game that we're gonna come across. Like naturally, like all the rest of them are hidden. So let's see. Want to keep on moving on down this a ways. Guts pill, always good for Ryu there. Always want to give it to him. I doubt it'll make a difference. How much does he have right now? Four? I wonder if that made a difference. I should have checked beforehand. Oh, and there's the other guy. The Crod Worm, or Cloud Eater. You're already equipped with the... Oh, Demon Sword, Demon Shield. Oh, that's fitting. Yeah, you, are, you do already have that. Time's a-wasting. I can probably kill him in one shot, huh? But the this guy, he can cast Tornado and also Typhoon. <laughs> All right, Ryu. Which is, uh... Typhoon's kind of scary, as you've seen before, I think. It does, like, 80 points of damage there, so... Anyway... Let's see, just a couple more treasures. Isn't there a treasure over that way? Okay, up, 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 up. Thank you. Oh, come on. Over, over, over. There we go. Now, I know normally you wouldn't have the... Oh, there's nothing over here? Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, what else was I seeing? You know, I know you normally wouldn't have, like, the, uh, Bolt Tanfa here, necessarily. So, oh, come Whew! I'm glad I remembered where I was. Alrighty, Ice Shield. But yeah, so, uh, just, like, resort to the Fire Ring against those Omanite enemies. Oh yeah, Ice Shield. I want to equip that. This is, uh, basically a heavy piece of equipment. As you can see, it's the same as the Shine Shield, so I'm gonna pass that down to, uh, Tapita. But, uh, yeah, the Ice Shield, like the Flame Shield, is a heavy piece of equipment, so only Ryu, Tapita, and Sten can equip it, which is why I wanted the, uh, Universal Armor on the other two there. So, yeah, that should work out for quite a long time, actually, as far as shields get. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, and, uh, we got the Ice Armor. Did I mention that, uh, Bosch learned, uh, the shield spell? Curse's Defense for All, very nice. Uh, tap, uh, Spyro will also learn that eventually, so... Let's see, I want to give this to you, I think, right? Yeah, this is Earth Armor, Ice Armor... Oh, it's weaker? Really? Oh. But, uh, it's all, like, heavy equipment also, so Ryu, Tapita, and Stin only. These guys can't equip that stuff. Uh, that's quite a bit weaker. It's a lot weaker than this one, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, I'll save that. Ice Armor is good to keep around for... There we go. Some uh, certain bosses later. I didn't realize I was like slightly weaker. Norse Dagger. This is a weapon specifically for Sten. And one thing the game does not tell you that I didn't find out until like this year <laughs> is that it's an ice elemental weapon. So that could be useful against uh, certain monsters and also a boss later on. Man, that Bolt Tonfa is abusive in this dungeon. Oh, no way! I got a rare pick? A rare drop? Another ice armor? Really? <laughs> oh my gosh, those guys, they can drop that, or they usually drop this thing called Ice Chunk, which just lets you, like, use the freeze spell, I think. So, <laughs> I can't believe it, I got a rare drop. Man. And, hey, aren't you a shaman? Spoona? Uh, she's called Spoo in the original. I use the door? Yeah, I use the door. The frogs? What do you mean? I got a frog right with me! <laughs> That's funny! I didn't know she said that. She doesn't say anything like that in the original, so it's kind of funny that I happen to bring Tapita along, since he needs to... Uh, 
level up and all. We got the Wind Shaman, who is the only other Shaman in the game besides the Fire Shaman that we are required to recruit. All the other ones are optional, and we're not going to get the r three remaining Shamans until literally the end of the freaking game. Like, just prior to the final dungeon. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, anyway, we got... We fix the fog, and we get that... Can we exit out of here? Yeah, and we get uh, a special... Oh, we can. A new uh, shaman who grants us some new abilities. All right, I got a temporary party here. Uh, Lynn is not here because uh, she can actually use this shaman, unfortunately, but uh, Spoo is, as the wind shaman, gives us 25% uh, more speed to anyone who can equip her. Uh, let's see, Lynn cannot do it, and I think everyone else can other than Ryu and Deus, of course, but with the... Uh, oh, what, what was it? Spoona? Yeah, with Spoona, we can... Uh, actually equip more than one shaman now uh, since water and wind are not opposite uh, elements and all but uh, specifically I wanted to show off Nina with the uh, wind shaman she can equip water and wind at the same time if you oops if you want yes begin because similarly to Stan she gets a uh, pilot swap with uh, the Wind Shaman, so she gets 50% more speed, which is freaking nice. She's got base equipment on right now, so she's <laughs> already got, like, absurdly high speed anyway. So, ooh, 88. Not bad, not bad. Oh, she's almost... Oh, she's got more than Sten now. But speaking of Sten, the reason he's here, I find it really interesting that uh, we're given... Or that, or that we the game forces us to get both the fire and wind shamans uh, and no others that you know that all the rest are optional because specifically when Stan's equipped with both of these two shamans if you can't guess by now by the way I'm talking <laughs> he gets a full-on transformation and he's the only other one who can tell for the uh, remainder of the game other than uh, you know, Aspara there. And, uh, he's pretty darn powerful with this form. He gets like, I think he gets like a 70% boost to his attack power. That, wow. Wow! He's stronger than Lin. He's faster than Lin. <laughs> and she's two levels low. Wow, this is why Stan is kind of awesome and underrated. I mean, I think he's awesome despite how underrated he is. Because he's way better than Lin right now. Oh, he doesn't even have his best, uh, Oh, wow. Look at that. He... Oh, wow. Oh, why do you have the flame sword? Well! <laughs> nice stand. Holy crud there. I, he, uh... Well, he looks pretty... Oops, what was I looking for? He looks kind of odd, <laughs> as you can see. And he gains... Well, actually, he loses his ability to reach across gaps. But he gains an interesting new ability, which will grant us some, uh new stuff, and actually, I want to look at one thing real quick. As long as, uh... As long as we got Rand, I mean, as long as we have that other piece of equipment, as you can see, that Spirit Robe is a little better for him, plus it gives him some extra protection against Fire, Ice, and Lightning, which is nice, but, uh... Now that we have Sten in his Transform State, there's something else that uh, I want to go do instead. Alrighty, I uh, warped to Melody here, and I actually forgot that I didn't have Lynn equipped with the Bolt Tonfo, so she's still a lot stronger than uh, Sten here, who I want to keep with the Assassin for now, because it increases his uh, luck rating. These three have the highest luck stats, and now that I have Sten in the party, uh, there's a specific monster I want to try to farm an item from now, since it makes it a lot easier. These are not the monsters I'm looking for, or the droids. I had to say it. So, Stan now has this ability called Switch, which is called Sway in the original. It's kind of interesting because it allows him to just change whatever the random encounters are in the general area. And these guys, I think, are still faster, aren't they? Oh, no, he's faster. Sweet. And, aww. Oh, well. 
Anyway, are you faster than him? Nope. But, uh... Thank you. I'm looking for that stone golem. This guy! This guy! Because uh, I want to try to farm the stone armor from this guy now that uh, uh, tap... <laughs> Stan makes it a lot easier. And, uh... Actually, why don't you just... No, never mind. It's... Oops. Did I just use that? I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. I was going to re-equip it, because she can still kick butt, but... Anyway, I want to try and... I should have had them use their, uh... Sirocco spells. Oh, well. Yeah, you're stronger like that anyway, aren't you? Oh, that was weak. Anyway, I want to basically... Oops. Not that one. Sorry. <laughs> I want to basically just keep on fighting over and over again until I can sp uh, farm the uh, stone armor from that specific uh, monster there. So, once I do that, I'll show you. Alright, there we go. Never takes too long. It what did that take? A little, a little under ten minutes to pick up the stone armor, which I'll uh, give to Rand. Actually, I think right now. I, I don't. Oh, good! I have just enough after that freaking Sirocco spell. <laughs> anyway. All right. So the stone armor, which only Rand can equip, very strong armor, but also really freakishly heavy at 50 so he's basically gonna have zero speed for until the freaking end of the game but it does bring his defense up uh, quite nicely uh, even compared to Ryu there I suppose so he'll actually actually be able to use him for his defense in the near future and one other thing I'm actually gonna want to do off screen is I'm gonna want to go back to Fort Najur and uh, take on uh, those mimic monsters, the little treasure chest guys, and try to farm like one or two of those uh, coins. Uh, so I'll be able to do some, uh, you know, purchase some other interesting items later in the game, uh, and possibly even next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2: The Retranslation. Arrivederci.